In this module, we'll cover the Design Advisor Analysis. The goal of this module will be to learn how to import and check models from CAD systems, as well as identify potential part design issues. Why do this? Typically, better CAD models will be a result when these requirements are understood, which will in the end offer an easier translation for you when you go to import your CAD model into Autodesk Moldflow. We do offer a import check when using the import wizard. However, design advisor analysis can provide a little more information for you. It will provide early notification of questionable models. The only requirement is, of course, that you import your model and then you orient your part properly. The proper orientation would be with your parting plane parallel to the XY plane. Design Advisor will offer you three specific results. The nominal wall thickness result, a draft angle result, as well as an undercut result. We'll take a closer look at these a little later. In addition to the three results that you get after running your Design Advisor analysis, you also have an Analysis Summary tab at the bottom. This tab will contain tables for each individual result and display the percentages of the part that are within the ranges. This might be a good starting point for you to take a look at to see which individual results you may need to interrogate further. In regards to the summary table, we do have default values in there for you, but if you wish to customize these to a different nominal wall or a different range that you'd like to stay within, so maybe a tighter tolerance or a looser tolerance within your nominal wall, you do have the option to adjust these settings. The nominal wall thickness result essentially displays the thickness variations relative to our part's nominal wall thickness. As a general rule of thumb, we like to limit our wall thickness changes to no more than 30% of our nominal wall. This plot will be displayed in a traffic light plot with dynamic advice. As you can see, we have a range here. Anything shown in red is greater than 150% of our nominal wall. Anything greater than 130% but less than 150% is yellow. Anything green will either be our nominal wall or within our 30% tolerance or guideline that we specified previously. And then we have areas that may be thinner than our nominal wall, which are represented by the blue colors here. Typically in the stoplight patterns, you'll be focusing more on the red and yellow regions and what you can do to help with them. Another option that you'll have with the nominal wall thickness result is that you can actually change how we're displaying these results for you. You can display them as a percentage difference or variation from your nominal wall or the actual dimensional value. The draft angle result very simply displays the draft variations assigned to different sections of your part. This can be very useful in checking your part design to ensure that you can get it out of the tool and do have the proper draft angles assigned. These values on the scale can also be modified to narrow down the display of angles that you wish to see. The undercut result is the third and final result that we'll discuss for the design advisor analysis. This displays undercuts and what we call shadow features on your part. When a feature casts a shadow on another feature of the mold, the feature causing the shadow is called an undercut. The algorithm that we use assumes the XY plane is the parting plane, and the positive Z direction points towards the nozzle of your machine. Therefore, the shadow feature is located simply at a higher Z value than the undercut feature. Sometimes if the undercut feature is narrow and the material is very flexible, it is possible to eject the part without special tooling components, like in case of a some snap fits. However, when possible, undercuts should be avoided in order to keep the tool design simpler. The less complex the tool is, the less expensive it will be to run and to maintain. When running a design advisor analysis, your part orientation is important, true or false. What is the proper part orientation for your model when running a design advisor analysis? Running a design advisor analysis 
can help you identify which of the following. As a general rule of thumb, we recommend limiting wall thickness changes to no more than what percent of the nominal wall thickness. Do you find this to be a useful feature? At this moment, please feel free to practice your skills on some of the exercises that we've supplied you. Additional information on where to access these should be covered in the introduction video.